I found this box at the Dollar Tree and I found this embroidery hoop. You can usually get them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And my little clasp was broken so I used a zip tie to hold it together and I slipped it in the little openings of my box. Underneath I took these Jenga blocks and I glued them nice and tight on the underside and this is going to keep my embroidery hoop from moving and that it will stand. I found this other little panel also at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue my box to this panel, to this little plaque. It's all wood. Once everything's together, I'm going to paint it in my Wise Owl Black and allow it to dry. I found this home also from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the little greenery on the O and I'm going to paint the rims black. I found this little trinket box at the Dollar Tree. I loved it. It has a B. It has the, it has the honeycomb on the um, bottom portion and I'm going to take my E6000 and a little bit of hot glue for that instant hold and I'm going to place the cap or the lid on my O. Then I'm going to take some more E6000 on this front rim in front of the box and a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to place my word home right in front. Then I'm going to take the bottom portion of my trinket box and I'm going to E6000 and hot glue and put it at the center of my box at the top. And I found this honeycomb candle that I'm also going to place inside. And then I found all this ribbon. It has a honeycomb, one's just yellow, and one says home and welcome in the black. And I'm going to do a messy bow using my jute. And I'm going to tie this at the top left corner of my hoop. And now you have this really cute home decor. If you love bees as much as me, you're going to want to try this. And now to top everything off, I'm going to take my salve. This is by Wise Owl. You can find the products at chocolateupfancy.com. I'm going to use a microfiber cloth and I'm going to just wipe on a little bit of the sath all over my project and this is going to give me a nice top coat. I did wait to the end because if I did this first none of my glue would adhere so I kind of wait to the end and just use my finger to maneuver myself around the surfaces. So now you can have a nice top coat made out of essential oils and it smells good. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateupfancy.com. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.